Okay. This is great because I've met up with David Sign today. Uh, we're here in Glasgow, and uh, David has shown me a document or a book which is biomedical visualization. And for all the great things that we do around VR and AR today, uh, I think this is a really great use because uh, what we've shown here is that David's put together a critical evaluation of um, patients using prosthetic limbs mm -hmm. and how to use them better yeah. because of the high degree of um, uh, failure on some of those uh, particular items. So do you want to tell us a bit more about it? Sure, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> basically uh, they have to train people up to use spark prosthetic limbs before they can um, allocate them in the NHS, but of course they're very expensive so they have to make sure that people are going to be able to use them. Trouble with that is that the only uh, software that they had in order to train people in, uh, how to use these were, it, it was equivalent to like Flappy Bird, it was you would send nerve impulses out of your, your shoulder or stump or whatever and, uh, and it would move something up or down but it was very, very difficult for people to do. It took weeks of practice. It didn't really work very well, and loads of people gave up before they actually got to the stage of being allocated a limb. But uh, a, a consortium of uh, universities in around Ireland and, uh, and, and Belfast, Dublin, uh, and uh, also England uh, were working on was using virtual reality so they could say, here's an apple, use the same sensors that we use for your limb and pick up the apple. And in many, many cases, people were instinctively able to do this, which is great. And that technology was already being used. But meanwhile, elsewhere, they were using other technology to train the limbs themselves to respond to people's impulses so that when they actually applied the limb to the person, it would actually understand them. What I was talking about was, OK, well, here's these two forms of technology. How do we bring them together in virtual reality? So the information is flowing both ways. The patient is learning the limb. The limb is learning the patient. And it seems to it seems to be a very effective combination. And now um, today, I got my uh, published book sent to me by Springer. Well, I think that's really good, and that shows really how VR can be used in a great, powerful way to help people today as well. <laughs> Thank you.